Hi, it's been a while, but I'm back and this time I'm probably gonna have like a Star Wars themed series just because I get a lot of requests to do like Star Wars related stuff. Um, so today you guys are gonna see BB-8. Um, it's not entirely accurate because that's why I take my artistic liberties. Um, I haven't seen the old movies, <laughs> so... I'm not very much into the Star Wars uh, world, but I have seen like random movies, for example, the one with Ray, the ones with Ray, um, and that's why I like BB-8. Um, that's why I know about it. Anyway, I haven't seen any of the series, so for those who are gonna hate me, well, you can hate me now. I'm still gonna be okay. But anyway, I don't really have very much very many ideas about them and then um, I do not want to straight copy the the stuff from the movie so uh, what I do is I do have mid journey and I actually ask um, I actually first research on Pinterest about what people normally do then I go on mid journey and I try to make my own versions of the androids and the characters and once I have them, like I had this one, like every time, for example, when you go in mid journey, every time I try to create BB-8, it goes with its head straight. But then my my client asked for it to be like on one side, as if it was curious, like a curious cat. And that's where I had to just improvise a little bit because all the AI generated uh, pictures were just straight. So um, I decided to just take inspiration from that and then just slide the head on one side. It's still not entirely accurate because then I realized that I should have made it even more slanted, like not straight attached to the big ball, to the body. But anyway, um, there's more space for improvisation and I'm sure it's not gonna be the only BB-8 I've been requested for. Uh, before this one, I've done an R2-D2 and I already have three more requests for more R2-D2 painting. So <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to record the process of all of those. Then I have um, C3PO. I'm not sure if it's that one. Anyway, I do get a lot. I guess people really like Star Wars and um, I, I actually never thought about it before. Anyway. Um, colors I've used. I've used my uh, oldest Schmincke palette I have, like the the OG one, <laughs> the one that I received like years and years ago, and it's still working. It's still the colors are still beautiful. The combos they they get wet very very well. So I was really happy with this palette. Um, I thought I might have to struggle a little bit with it, but I knew that the colors were gonna be light fast that they would last a long time but it turns out that they were doing okay it was not uh, difficult to re-wet them it was not difficult to work with them so i was actually quite happy with it um when it comes to lining i've decided to just use a permanent marker i know that will fade in time but i actually like that because the more time i mean the more the paintings my paintings will stay in the sunlight um, these lining will fade away and then uh, the clients will just be left with the watercolor and I totally trust that process I trust that you will only in time see just the watercolor not the marker paint the marker markings so I'm really happy with that um, what else can I tell you yeah life has been hectic um, I did have some pro some health issues, that's why I had this three month hiatus. Um, on the outside, I look healthy, but then on the inside, my blood pressure was crappy. And it was really, really high, like up to the point of sending me to emergencies. I had lots of headaches, but now I'm into the process of finding out why. I'm still not done, but um, I'm back to feeling like painting, and that's a plus for me. That's something I can celebrate. So yeah, this was pretty much the process of me making my first BB-8. I was quite happy with it. And the client was happy too, which is the most important. I hope you guys like it. 
and I guess I'll see you soon with another video. Bye!